Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to my learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. Today's another day. It's Tuesday, terrific Tuesday. And we have Leo, the letter-loving lobster that's going to lead us in a song. Ready? Here we go. Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Lara. For some learning and some play, will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on, friends. For some learning and some play. All right, let me put Leo away, and I'll go over our plan. So this morning, we're going to do an emotional check-in. Now remember, that's something where you check in on how you're feeling. And you're going to do that not just once with me, but throughout the day. Our focus skill this week is sharing. That's when you let other people have a turn. And I have a fun song that we're going to sing together that's going to help us remember what sharing is. After that, we're going to move on to our weekly investigation. This week, our focus text is the rainbow fish, and we read the story yesterday, so if you didn't catch it, go ahead and watch it in yesterday's episode. And then we're going to end our day with an activity and a goodbye smooch, Mwah! depending on the time. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here's our song about sharing. We're going to be singing it all week so you can learn the words. The tune is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. It goes like this. When I share, I let you touch. Please be careful, thank you so much. When I share, you know it's mine. And give it back after a time. When I share, we show and tell. And play together very well. When we share, we take turns. We wait and watch and watch and learn. When I share, you play with me. I play with you and others too. Yes, sharing is so important, isn't it? And we're reading a book about sharing, The Rainbow Fish. He didn't want to share his scales, but in the end, he did. So we're gonna walk through our story together. But here's our letter clue that I'm gonna give you about what we're going to do here. There's a big line, a little curve, and another little line. What letter have I made? The letter R. That's Rainbow Fish's beginning sound. Rrr. So let's walk through the story of Rainbow Fish. Here we go. Now to walk through this story, I'm going to need my fish friend. Here's Rainbow Fish. Now I made him by cutting out a picture from the story and adding some cool blue ribbons at the end. Okay, now I want you to think, what was the first thing that happened in the story? There was a fish in the ocean, it was rainbow fish, and the fish was so beautiful. All the other fish admired him, right? But rainbow fish felt very proud. He didn't want to share his scales. So when the blue fish asked him, rainbow fish, can you share your scales, please? The rainbow fish said, no way. Who do you think you are? Go away. Just like that. Ooh, and then none of the other fish would play with him. So rainbow fish was feeling something, right? Do you remember what rainbow fish was feeling? very sad. When no one would play with Rainbow Fish, he was very lonely. So we swam in the ocean until he came across a starfish. And he spilled his soul to the starfish. He said, starfish, I really am beautiful. Why won't anybody play with me? And the starfish said, I don't know. You have to ask the octopus. So off he went to 
asked the octopus who was in a deep, dark cave, and he asked, Mr. Octopus, I really am lonely. Why won't anybody play with me? And Mr. Octopus said, well, here's my advice. You have to give your scales to everybody, and then you will find true happiness. So there he went, sharing his scales one at a time to all the fish, and then all the other fish started to play with him, and Rainbow Fish started to feel happy because he was sharing. And that is the story of Rainbow Fish. Now remember, you can retell the story through a poster or through art, and today we're going to retell it through art. So here are the materials that you'll need. You'll need some paper, a nice and thick piece of paper, some tissue paper, glue, old magazines, and some scissors. So this is what we're going to end up with, our very own recycled art rainbow fish that you can use to retell the story on your picture that we did yesterday. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a nice thick piece of paper like this. And you're gonna wanna fold it in half to make our fish shape. Have you ever wondered how fish are shaped? They have a head and they have some fins. So we're gonna go around like this. Here's the head piece. And then we're gonna make some fins by cutting like a triangle like that. So you can kind of see what it looks like, like this, see? A round shape with kind of a triangle at the end. Now I folded it in half to make it symmetrical. That means both sides will be the same. Oh, that's kind of a thick rainbow fish, isn't it? I'm gonna cut this little piece here and give him a rounder head. Of course, you can adjust everything as you go. That's the beauty of it being your own. So once you have this, you're gonna kind of wanna cut the fins into shapes. You're gonna wanna bring it in like this and out and connect them like this. So you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. A nice fish, see? Okay, so the next piece you can do is you can either use tissue paper and you can cover the whole thing with some tissue paper to make the scales. But I thought, let's use recycled materials. So I brought with me some magazine. Now you're gonna want to bring out some magazines like this that maybe your family doesn't use anymore. Make sure that you ask before you cut them up. Magazines have all kinds of colorful paper like this red here. So you're gonna take your favorite colors in the magazine, like this red, and you're gonna cut out a little piece, a little rectangle, and then you're gonna cut a U shape to make a scale like this. Ooh, do you see that? I made like a little scale, and we'll put that on our fish later. Let's see what other things we can find in magazines here. Ooh, there's some blue. So I'm gonna do the same, cut out a little piece, a little rectangle piece. Of course, you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. And then a U shape. A U shape is kind of like a smile, isn't it? Just like this, okay? Now, I wanted to show you that there are tons of examples of colors that you might bring out in the rainbow fish. There's also some patterns and textures that you might use. That could be really fun, couldn't it? So I'm gonna bring it out. Cut a little piece, come back. And then cut it out like this into a U shape. Now once you have a good amount of your scales like I do here, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is glue them onto your fish. These are gonna be our scales for our rainbow fish. So I took some glue and I have some here that's extra. There we are. And I'm gonna start gluing them down. So I'm just gonna make like little swirly circles just like this, so you can see them there. And I'm gonna start to place my scales on there, just like that. And I'm gonna use different colors because I want it to be a true rainbow. Do you know what colors are in the rainbow? Is it all colors or just a few? I wonder if you might investigate and then let me know. Okay, so let's see maybe a purple here, 
then we're going to keep going. So that's our first layer. Let's do our second layer here, right underneath there. And this time I made kind of little scaly bits. Now the interesting thing here is you're going to want to tuck your scales in. So you're going to want to kind of push them inside like that so it creates a layered kind of effect, just like that. Keep tucking them in. And again, I always like to remind you that the learning happens as you're doing this, but also in the conversations that you're having with the people around you. Ask your family about the book. What do they remember about the book? Are there other books about sharing that you might read and talk about? You know, adults could use books on sharing sometimes too. I know I can. When I get chocolate, cupcakes or anything sweet. Oof, I have trouble sharing. Such a sweet tooth. Okay, we're going to keep going here with our next layer. Let's see. Gray. Hopefully we get done so you can see kind of what it's going to look like. You can see it doesn't take too much time, just about a minute or so. And I have different patterns and different things that we can add to it. I thought this would be fun. I always like to use recycled materials when I make my art because otherwise, you know, things just go in the trash. And that's no fun. You can make beautiful things out of things that people might throw away. Okay, here we go. There are the last couple of scales and then we'll be all done with our rainbow fish art. Look at all that texture. Of course, if you want to learn more about texture, check out Mrs. Reed Wright's art lessons. They come off right after me. Let's add our last scale. It has to be very important. Oh, this one with the pattern. And then, of course, we need our eye. So I have an eye here, just from a magazine too, that I'll quickly cut out. There's lots of different eyes that you can find in magazines might be fun to put a human eye on a fish. That would be silly. All right, here we go. There is our rainbow fish. Now you can put him on the scene like this by gluing him down and you can add all his friends like the starfish and the octopus to retell the story or you can keep him loose like this and have him swimming around and make believe that he found his friends and is going to find them. All right, boys and girls, remember if you make this project or any of the other projects that we do together, send in a picture, a letter, and your address if you want to receive a book that our friends here at PBS will give you. It's an activity book with stickers and all kinds of fun things. Okay, make sure that you come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some rhyming and we're going to be fishing for some fish with a shark. And our shark is going to try to find some words that rhyme and it's going to eat some fish. Oh, I hope you come back then. Until then, Miss Laura sends you a smooch. Goodbye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for